All right, welcome to Dan Games on Chaotic Neutral Dan, and um, I'm just gonna do a quick run through of all the different types of chickens and the different abilities, and I'm explaining it to a couple of guild members as well, or alliance members. Um, but yeah, you can actually, you can private queue. The good benefit of it is, is now we can have a look at all this stuff with, uh, you know, without any rush on the clock. So, um, basically, Basic Bok is your first one your white chicken um, it's got uh, and if you you guys um, summer and and Mickey come stand over it um, turn yourselves into basic box and I'll show you how to check the abilities all right um, so press the pad on your controller until it highlights um, your powers down at the bottom or sort of your buttons down at the bottom and you'll see it come up it fills up all your screen with all the abilities and tells you exactly what it does so um, uh, the daily power is Cowardly Dash, uh, which drops a pile of seeds as well as increases your speed by 30% for 10 seconds. Um, uh, then Square is Squabble, squawks at an enemy, lowering their damage by one um, for five seconds. And then Roost, increasing your um, double peck damage by one for five seconds. Uh, roost, yeah. And then um, R2 is double peck, pecks a single enemy in front of you for two damage. Um, and L2 is flight, take flight increasing your speed by 60%. And okay, so future Dan here. Um, I did forget a little something. <laughs> uh, so the, when the basic bok drops the chicken seed uh, with its daily power, that chicken seed, uh, it's all different colors and each colour corresponds with one of these chickens that you, that you see here. And with one exception, there's a purple um, pile of chicken seed. And that will turn you into a warlock. So, <clears throat> first of all, if you're a basic bok, that's probably something you might want to consider. Um, you have the ability to turn yourself into a war warlock as soon as, uh, a warlock chicken as soon as you um, you know, fill up your daily as long as you get that purple seed before anyone else does. But um, yeah, the the other thing is is when you die as a chicken and come back to the respawn point, you can also go and stand over any one of the chickens and change. You're not stuck as the same chicken for the entire match. You can be adaptable. If you think you your team needs more defense, and you can go tank chicken. Yeah, you know, so. Um, and what you're seeing in the background here is actually a, um, a bit of a, a bit of the blooper reel because uh, one of the alliance members that I was showing in there thought it would um, just saw the bases and decided to grab them because you know why not? Not realizing that would take the timer over, and so we had to do a whole other take again. It was quite funny. Anyway, getting back to the tutorial. So, I mean, obviously with that kind of a rotation, how you're gonna wanna run this chicken is you're gonna wanna um, drop your encounter powers first because they're kind of buffing you. Um, and uh, like you wanna hit square on an enemy and you wanna, and, and then you wanna hit roost and then you wanna just start pecking the crap out of them as much as you can for the next like five seconds. And then you would probably press L2 to go in flight while you're waiting for your cooldowns and rinse and repeat. So um, that's that's the basic box. Then um, then you've got the the tank chicken, which um, is that what it's I don't know what it's called. Wait, hang on. Box box blocker. Is that what it says? Uh, box blocker. Oh, box blocker. Yeah, that's it. All right. So you got your box blocker. <laughs> which has the daily brood protector which gives 10 HP to all allied chickens within 30 feet um, and then you've got uh, your square button which is rush rushes your target doing two damage and lowering their movement by 20% uh, but then yeah triangle bird um, bastion gain additional defense taking two less damage for five seconds and then uh, R2 is peck, pecks a single enemy in front of peck, you for, peck, peck, peck. for one damage. So that's the other thing, the basic bok has two damage on their peck, um, whereas the tank's peck is only one. Um, and then uh, L2 is flight. That, that's the same on pretty much all of them, they all have flight for L2. 
so with that one yeah <laughs> so um so with that one how, uh, i mean you're definitely you're able to hold a position for a long time so two can be a really like the middle base can be a really good place for you um uh, and yeah so your bird bastion is your defensive buff and your rush just does a little bit of um you know like it's a bit of an attack on the enemy in a 1v1 scenario um against a dps a tank chicken will probably come out the winner because the uh, tank chicken can outlast them so um in that instance as well you probably a tank chicken's probably better off on your team's home base or on two you know but two being the priority because they can really hold stuff up there and if you're completely outnumbered and you're on a base by yourself and you're on that tank what you want to do is you just want to use your l alternate your l2 with your um with your triangle so you're just going to run around and then every so often pop your triangle and that's going to gradually fill up your daily which when you pop that that'll give you a whole bunch of temp health so the amount of time you can waste of theirs on that base if you're outnumbered while the rest of your team is grabbing the other bases you know like um this is definitely a uh like uh, you probably want to run tank more um in the sense that uh, like when you're up to the heel, uh, winds column and all that sort of stuff when that's a major focus um because you know like it's not going to help you if you kills and assists um and uh I, i'd say healer is probably the better one for when it comes to captures and that sort of stuff because you're going to keep your team alive so that you can capture the base you know so when that's the column you're focusing on you probably want to run heals a bit more but then when it comes to the kills and assists you probably want to run dps to fill up that column uh, when it comes to the pvp campaign um all right so that's tank chicken and all right so healer chicken which is called um healer hen i feel like they could have come up with something better than that um more clever Bockade. Big layer. Bockade? <laughs> I don't know. Because, you know, like instead of blockade, but like, yeah. <laughs> and then it's like aiding, so it's healing. Yeah. Anyway, um, in a clutch. Heal, which is the daily, um, heal all allied chickens for 10 health within 30 feet. It, honestly, it's a brilliant move. Um, especially like the more of your allies you have around you when that goes off the better it is but keep in mind it does have yeah that 30 foot radius so you might remember me talking about how the circles on the the rings on the ground on the bases which we'll show you in a second they actually define distance so we'll come back to that um, when when we just go have a look at the bases soon but um, basically yeah then you've got square which is your your heal heal six health um shared between all target all targeted ally targets and then triangle which is food frenzy scatter food around increasing the damage of all allied chickens by one for five seconds so you're going to run into a fight pop your triangle and you don't want to be popping your heels like crazy you want to try and kind of uh get get that heal off when you can when it's gonna make the best difference but then at the same time um, once a bit of momentum picks up uh, then you kind of do want to pop it a bit more because then the more you're popping it the more it'll fill up your daily and then all of a sudden you start getting in this cycle where you're just popping heals constantly because it just keeps everything just keeps filling up and and you know you keep killing enemies and stuff so um, the peck, uh, peck's a single target, that's your R2 um, in front of you and it only does one damage and then the, the flight is the same as all the others. Um, so uh, with that one, I mean you are the healer so your focus is on two um, but then you go to where your heals are needed, you know, where it's gonna, if you can see that there's a 1v1 going on um, and uh, maybe your teammate is is coming out a little bit the lesser and you think you can make it there in time go to that home base and save them and and then grab that base you know like that uh, but then go always return to two pretty much now um, your fire ranged chicken oh instead of free ranged I get what they're doing there like yeah okay I can appreciate that 
Um, <laughs> bird bomb daily. Uh, <laughs> drops bombs around you, dealing five damage to you and all enemy chickens within 30 feet. Um, and then, uh, like, the square button is fire seed, uh, spits a fiery seed at your target for three damage, so that's a ranged attack. Um, and, uh, triangle is your fiery flea, increase speed by 30% for five seconds, leaving a trail of fire on the ground around, uh, behind you. Um, fiery trail does one damage to enemies that touch it. So there's a couple of different ways you can do that and you'll you'll have seen that in some of the matches that I've done already um, where they either try to spread the fire out across the base or you can also just stand in it and just like uh, sort of run in a little circle so it triggers all in the one spot and build up the amount of damage in the one spot. Um, and uh, I'd say a fiery chicken's probably better placed on two because it contr it has the ability to control a lot of traffic. Um, but then it's also going to act as a support for the home bases if two's good, you know, like, or if someone's playing distraction on two, which you would have seen I do sometimes, um, then, then, you know, go work on the home bases. You know, you've got to be adaptable to sort of read the field a bit, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, what I'm giving is a general idea. Um, okay, so, uh, Fiery Flea, we've done that, um, Paralyzing Peck, R2, so this is what Major was talking about before, Peck's a single, was it Major who said that, or was it Matt? No, it was Matt who said that. Um, Peck's a single enemy in front of you for one damage with, a 15% chance to stun them for two seconds, um, and then you've got the flight, same as all the others. And then Rogue Chicken, which you'll have seen me on a fair bit. Um, foul Play is your daily, go into uh, an unbreakable stealth for 10 seconds, but your damage is decreased by one. Uh, I didn't realize there was a damage decrease, that's a bit uh. Um, all right, so Square, Cluck and Cover, go into stealth for five seconds, increasing the damage of your double peck by two damage. Attacking your, um, attacking will break your stealth. Okay, so <clears throat> so basically, yeah, you want to go invisible before you attack um, with your at-wills. Uh, and then uh, triangle is bombshells. Drop egg bombs, dealing two damage to all enemy chickens within 13 feet. So uh, that's an instant AoE, as it doesn't stay on the ground like a smoke bomb, but it, it sort of works in a similar kind of way. Uh, just kind of splats out all over the place. So... Um, yeah, so I would recommend in that situation probably you you go in, you drop your your bombshells, and then um, and then you go cluck and cover and start um, pecking the crap out of whichever target you know. So R two is your double peck, and you do two damage with that double peck, and flight is the same as all the others. And that's all the chickens. All right, so um, I'm gonna pick a green one. Um, okay, so we'll start with the bases. Now, there used to be a little hiding spot around here, and I'm realizing they don't have that now. And in fact, oh, dude, why why be a douche? Ooh. I packed it's, them. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Nazi. I died like three times already. What are you talking about? <laughs> um, yeah, wait. Um, <laughs> let's let's kill him. He wants to he wants to play rough. <laughs> We're outnumbering. All right. Um, all right. So no, no. Back to the tutorial. He ran away. Um, okay. So I, I did find out you can accidentally get stuck on the side of the steps here, and um, so avoid that because I had to kill myself before I could get out of there. That was that was pretty bad. But um, yeah. So there's no hiding spots at the steps anymore. They seem to have blocked that off but I'm not going to grab that base, but um, we will have a look at the bases. So this is the base, doing that, you can see, right? So um, the red bar filling up, that's how you know when someone's grabbing it. If one person stands on, it'll, um, it'll stop, but if I get off, it'll go back to where it was up to. So I've got to stand on it for a while so that that line goes down a little bit. Okay, sweet. Um, so come up, come up this way. Because I'm going to show you the overpass, right? 
So you got other health potions up here. You also get health potions right near the base as well. So uh, right here, you're gonna get health potions spawned sometime. Sorry, I know I'm running backwards and forwards, but you can see where I am from the overpass there. If you look over in this direction, if you stand up, uh, up on that bridge, is someone attacking you? Oh my God, why? What? What? <laughs> Shadow, are you doing something? Yeah, Shadow's like attacking. Attacking. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was attacking health. Mickey. Look at, my, yeah, yeah. look at my health, too. What yeah, you, you, ain't, you ain't getting you no were, heals. You, you were attacking each other. Okay, so. so they were, and they don't have the podiums in here, I'm noticing, too. They don't have the podiums yeah, in, I in I this one. Earlier. Yeah. So you do have this overpass, though, and that basically. I don't see a lot of people using that and I don't think there's a lot of practical oh, okay. advantage yeah. but Stop if you come over things, yeah. if you come over here you'll see that uh, this is basically a Marriott image of the other side of the field so whichever side you come on it's pretty much going to look the same either way so um, and um, now here's what I'm talking about with the distance so in radius you've got um, 15 10 and 5 lines there and like and then in in full diameter you've got 30 feet oh. right so um uh, each base is 30 foot and you would have seen that attack before was measured at exactly 30 feet so you have uh, you have to be at least a base a base length um in distance to your target to be able to hit them with probably the longest ranged attack out of all the chickens so um you're always, uh, if you've got an AOE or something like that, like a lot of the healer AOEs you can see there, like they've got a really small radius. Uh, if we match it up, which we should be able to do, um, they've got a, oh, if, as long as I don't move my camera, they've got a, um, a 20 foot um, diameter, but a 10 foot radius. Um, and it can be a bit tricky if you're trying to get multiple targets and stuff and so you know like keep that in mind if you've got a green chicken like a healer chicken on your team this is what we've got to work with and it's got a really like it's got a five second cooldown so it takes us a little bit and that's the only heal that's the only heal we've got to run with so um, now you can see that it's ticking over because they've got the two bases right now if you stand on one of those bases as an as an enemy the moment you do um, oh, provided um, Natsu can you jump off for a sec um, oh no we've got the majority it's all good as long as as long as you got the majority you stop them from grabbing points um, uh, yeah and that's that's pretty much what you want so um, once it's contested, the points stop ticking over on that base for that team uh, once, it's un uh, once it's been contested. But then if we were to all jump off it now, they would get Your those points dominates. back again. Um, you know, like they would start getting those points again. Uh, not not uh, retrospectively, they don't get like, it's not, to, it's not saving up for them or something. But, um, but yeah, so, that's pretty much, I don't think there's anything else I can really explain that. It's the chickens, it's everything. So I hope you all have a bocking good time and I'll see you in the hen house.